Hello. I didn't say it too loud this time um, because it made me jump when I watched the playback of the last one. But there we go. Okay, right. Um, okay. Let's have a look at this. This is what we're looking at. Um, 20 years it was out there for. And we are going to be looking at this, which is Hyperion. Um, one of Saturn's moons, very strange looking moon. I actually thought it was a, an asteroid, but it's not. So, okie doke. This has taken me a few days um, because uh, it gave me a lot more than I anticipated um, but it's very interesting and I'm going to try and explain a few things just quickly thank you subscribers and commenters uh, it's cool it's fun um, if any of you are trying this um, I point you to I've said before this guy is a great help with the GIMP stuff and I use one of these just to keep people posted and sort of uh, understand where I'm coming, what, what I'm using. Um, Okie doke, right. This is the base image, which is this one. Um, comes in reasonable size. It is slightly coloured, so I've kept it colour again. Um, very interesting. Um, yeah, this, um, the, um, what do you call it, the probe, Cassini-Hugens probe, actually it went round, it orbited Saturn about 260 odd times and did various other things and sent a probe to Titan and things like that. But you, you know, if you're interested, then you can go and find this information out yourself. Uh, right. So let's get back to this. This is the base image, um, and so you can see here I'm in in layers. Um, so, as always, you just generally have a look. You can see where it's pixelating there. So, um, what I normally tend to do, I'll have a quick look, see if I can see anything and it does look strange there's some faded stuff there but not there type sort of thing which um, makes me think you can see stuff within the shadows by now you should sort of be getting to understand what I'm looking at um, etc etc this looks quite strange I know it is because I've done some work on this areas like this um, through here they call it spongy the spongy looking moon of sorts And there's some areas up here as well. So I'll just show you the scaled image. That's a scaled image. It's not hugely scaled. I had some problems getting it any bigger. Um, computer went a bit mad. You can see it a bit more clearly now. Very odd looking. So as always, you know, pause and have a look, take it in. Um, I'm going to point out some stuff here, like this, these areas. You know, on a base image, you know, it uh, 
could be absolutely anything. Stuff going on in here. Definitely stuff going on in here. Um, let's have a look. I'll do, show you quickly. So we're on dodge highlights. Um, I'll just bump that up a bit. Oh, I'm going to try my full screen. There we go. Okay. So I'm just doing this quickly. And once I've done this, there's something I want to point out. Um, the differences, the inconsistencies in the picture itself. And if you remember from, oh, I can't remember which one it was, if I did now. Um, how the colour can get a bit funky using these tools on a on a, on a color base so bear that in mind as well but as you can see there's stuff in the shadows don't even remember doing that one so this is how I start just basically have a quick flick around see what I can find hmm okay right let's go to sorry I've got um, there are lots of images <clears throat> you can get of this um there's another one for example it's had a slight bit of work on it but i haven't actually looked for anything <coughs> excuse me um but the reason i've got some new ones up is um you can see there's x amount of work being done on this one but i will show you the reason why um it's similar to this one um, but I want to see if I can locate any of the same uh, anomalies as uh, or on the other picture <clears throat> excuse me right okay this is the one I spent a few days working on um with the um base starting techniques with the dodge and burn tools um the saturation has been pulled there's a slight bit of contrast on it but i don't tend to do that until the very end um but we will pull the contrast a little bit just so we can see a little bit more what's going on um so let's have a look Let's have a look. As always, pause and uh, take in what's going on. Now, what I have done again, um, I've put an original layer in with the one I've been working on. And there's something I want to explain if people get a little bit confused with the fact that I can go um, hold on I can do this like I did on the other one so we can get a comparison of what's from the original photograph to the work that's been done on it um, You know, and you, you, you would think, okay, I could have arced work something and then um, worked, on, but I will actually show you the work. But the thing that knocks all that um, theory on the head is the actual tool that I'm using. The tool is specific to 
what it does and for me to enable me to do it the other way I would have to have a original image with a artwork image underneath and I would have to be using I'll just demonstrate the rubber tool so I think that's all I'm not sure what the opacity is on if I brought it down what am I on? no I'm not Bear with me. So we're on. We're on that setting. Why is it doing that? don't know right anyway yeah I'd have to be using the the um, the eraser to pull the image underneath through basically I don't know why it's not um, showing us it's doing that basic simple smooth white hard edge some different settings were coming up yesterday um, anyway, not to worry, but that uh, that's how I'd, I would have to sort of fake it. So, let's get back into this and have a look around. Do you with it? We just have a look around and then I'll then I'll point some uh, stuff out. So as you can see, it's looking very different. Remember the cult, uh, the uh, the color isn't going to be uh, correct because they false color stuff anyway. So you're going to have to pause. And take this one in a bit. an area I pointed out on the the original image was this area here now this with this this area here is actually black There you go. So just check these out. Check that out. So you can see there's something in here, and here, and here. Um, but it's got a different, it's a completely different. Um, makeup like it's been blotched over of sorts um, let's just try the blur tool so if I can blur that sort of blocking us out then you'll get more of an idea of what's going on in there. I only worked this out the other day to do that. And you can see there's some sort of 
thing going on there. I think it's actually better to have a closer look at this one. Hmm. Sorry about that. You focus on the light points. It's so vague. But then I show you through the method that I use. Can you see? So the more you do this, the more you can, I don't know, you. you you can see through the image. It's practice. It will send you mad as well, though. Uh, there you go. Let's have a closer look at this. Remember the perspective issue as well. So we're slightly seeing the down area here. This is the, the down area, obviously, in the shadows. This is the top area. It curls round, down. And you can see these blocked out areas. I don't know if this happens in, in the dark, but you know, for example, if you've got a, um, a digital camera and you point it at the sun, the sun turns black. So there's an element of, uh, you, you see where I'm coming from with that, how different it is. And all I've actually done is blurred it to the level of the, the actual picture, the high quality picture. Yeah. in relation to everything else we've been looking at. There are areas on Mercury which look a lot more bobbly like this, a lot more curvy. Um, and some areas on, on Mars as well. And um, I spoke about um, shapes that seem to Um, repeat themselves and um, they're in this as well I'll point them out when I can find them I'll be going out oh, don't want to do that do we Okay, dope. Sorry, I'm not with it. I was trying to work out what I was going to do with this one because it's a bit, it's all over the place.
And as always, it's um, it's a never-ending thing. You can just keep going and going and going, pushing and pulling. So like this over here and here, it's slowly, the further I work round, still there. Let's get in there and do some bits. What happens when you're doing this, because I'm using the um, dodge tool on highlights, it is just going to get lighter and lighter. And then as, as I've said, uh, you have to knock that back with a different, with a burn tool. And all that each individual setting does, it will squeeze around the different tones of pixels and ultimately you can pull out detail. I understand why a lot of people don't show this sort of stuff but I think it's you know the only way to explain the way you have to look at stuff and um, It explains the, the amount of work, the prior ed editing that's gone into it. Oh, you almost got like a holographic look to it. See, that's what I don't like, lines like that. That's the setting of the exposure being too high. Yeah, it is too high. We can get rid of that. Oh, I've got to put my stopwatch on. I got a clue where I am now. Okay. So as ever, there seems to be a huge amount of stuff going on. See so yeah, how that's it's like a platform. It's got a slight angle on it. It's coming down and then into some other industrial looking to the max. It's one of these little triangular diamond shaped things with a 
dome or a tower on top. Okay, let's um, let's stick a bit of contrast into this just so we can so you guys can see it a lot better. Okay. Why aren't we seeing that then? All oh, right, okay. This area. This is the area I sort of looked at to try and see if I could get a, a match on a different image. Metallic looking sort of disky thing there. You can see this. That's dipping in. Almost a circular sort of thing going on here. But let's have a look at the original. Hmm. Mind boggling. You can't make this stuff up. Here we go back. See more details forming. So. What I did, took a few points like this, this, and this sort of flangey area here on this image. So that is the image with nothing done to it. I'll take you through a few of the stages. Whoa, that was it. That's the size has been increased. And it's here I've started doing some work on. <clears throat> now that is the same area. Which is. Um, sorry if this is going to get a bit confused. Which is this area here. Okay. So if I, I move, flip the image around a bit, you can see I've done some work there. Let's go and have a look. These are black and white, these ones. And you can see stuff is appearing. Now what I wanted to try and get a match with the other map and this map. Now this is where that circular area is. Try and bring it up to around about the same, the same size. Get rid of that. You see, it's got these little hooks coming out. There's these little hooks coming out. So I'm just trying to get um, a match of something. This is very early stages. But this area here is that area. Slightly different angles and stuff, so you're not gonna get you're not gonna get the best uh... okay, let's take it. So you can see this, the, that's the amount of processes I've gone to to get to 
that point. So I'm trying to look for something which matches into this other image. Very difficult. So I was looking at that. There, there is a different angle on this. Um, trying to match up two different. I think it's actually a lot closer, but that's the flangey bit. It's the same area, but if we have a closer look, you can see in the dark areas that there's the same. Um, well, the different uh, finish to the two images, and this stuff was in the in the blackness in the crater of sorts. Um, I just did this before I started the vid very quickly. Um, I was trying to find these three points, but you see this area here. Like a little pointy bit. There's another little pointy bit here. It's actually looking quite good. I reckon you could get quite a lot of detail out of this. Um, where are they? There's a couple of little pointy bits here. And this little cluster could well be this little cluster here and you see the pointy bits there's some pointy bits here that's sort of near near as I could get in a short amount of time so it's basically it's me trying to back you know trying to um, sort of reassure my sanity that um, even after years of doing this because uh, it's just well as you can see incredible Okay, I'm just going to show you the, uh, see the actual difference. This area isn't finished, but there's definitely some uh, oddness going on. Stuff like this doesn't quite look right. But you know, you can put it down to sort of the way the light is shining and stuff and things. But again, you know, as as, as I've said, it's it's. You know, we can all live with a few strange looking things here and there. But when, yet again, it becomes a, the whole image is just full, or completely, completely different to the um, original image. So there's some strange stuff going on here.
I will be um, doing another little tutorial just for the next bit because there's a I've got to there's no point doing one and not showing you the whole process so you can uh, do this yourself nope we want that one See how easily that appeared. And this dark area. I was explaining with the dark areas, they're literally blocked out. And you can tell it's been done separately. Like I explained, you know, with blurring the that other one, it wouldn't. I say it wouldn't, it wouldn't n normally necessarily be different like that if it was, uh, if it hadn't been done separately. I don't know what I'm like for time here. Just have a look around. about filling in the gaps. This area here. And if you if you are new to this and you have made it this far, you're not just after quick hits, you know, CGI UFOs flying around and stuff. And you want to know, for real, in in your brain, then this channel will show you how to do that. And it's not that difficult. I will help you. But not with any uh, counselling because you've gone mad. <laughs> anyway. different view. See the shadows?
as ever, all these things are, um, unfortunately, um, are ongoing. There's just too much to do. So this is a spongy Hyperion. Hyperion? Which seems to have a little community of sorts. Let's just quickly um, just take the color out. Oh, I'm the wrong one. Sorry about that. That's layers for you. I will get there and explain those sort of things, but you don't generally need to use them. Um, <clears throat> it's just uh, fun to show you. The difference like that. Maybe some of you can see better with that. But this area here. is quite a uh, prominent and this area here and this area oh and the whole thing there you go so uh, yeah uh, any questions um, leave them in the comments and um, yeah it's fun seeing your comments um, I hope you're liking this stuff um, it is tutorial based but um, I think it's the way I think it's the way um, and I do apologize for saying um all the time more to me because I have to edit it out of the subtitles okie doke um, I will uh, see you next time. Okay, cheers.